in. Hey, we in the building. We out here. Just trying to make it. Yeah. 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 Special guest. Team Money's in the building, man. What's the deal, my nigga? Team Money, what's up, bro? Where you from? Captain California, man. Compton. West Side. Fuck, you end up in Brooklyn. Shit, I got lost. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's been a crazy fight you took there? Man, jet lag like a motherfucker, man. What's the, oh, what's, what's the time like? Yeah. Got three hours ahead. Three hours ahead? Three hours ahead, yeah. So how long it took you to get over here? Man, shit, I left the crib in the morning. Got to LaGuardia at like 11.30. So like 9, I left at 9. No, my flight left at 12. Uh-huh. And I got to LaGuardia at 11.30. Sheesh. What's yeah. up, Matt? Um... Man. So how's Cali, bro? I've been there a few times. Like where? Where? Uh, I've never been to Compton. I'm gonna keep it on. Uh, yeah, it's, it's cool. It's Compton, I've been like to LA. Yeah, yeah. I've been to LA. I've been to um, San Francisco. Okay. I've been a few other places. I'm for me, I can't come off the top of the head, but yeah. I like LA. Cool. Are you close to LA? Yeah. LA, Los Angeles is one big ass uh, county with cities inside of it. Okay. So you got Compton, Long Beach, Inglewood, Hawthorne. South Central, I've been of course. In Inglewood, South Side, yeah, South Central. Yeah, so it's one, it's one big ass county, you know what I'm saying, with cities inside of it. You know what I'm saying? Compton just the one that just. Yo, when I hear Compton, bro, yeah. like I just naturally just think gang wars, bro. Like, you not, are you affiliated with any type of gangs, bro? Coming like, up like in the, I feel like that's yeah. like natural for y'all, bro. Like, yeah, it's like. I guess you're not gonna run into nobody that's not tied to a gang. All right? right. Cause like, I don't. Cousins, game member, your stepdaddy's a gang member, you know what I'm saying? It's up to you if you wanna go be a gang member. Right. Me personally, I had older cousins that was already involved right. with this shit. So it's like, I know what y'all niggas getting into. That's not for me. It's not for you. It's okay. not for me, you know what I'm saying? But I'm affiliated with Bloods, Crips, Mexicans, you feel me? When niggas come to me, think I'm gang because my aura, because I'm from Compton and all that shit, but I push for my city. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Niggas might think my blood crib. I just push for us. You know As a whole. As a whole, bro. I push for everybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, you a rapper? Yeah, rapper and producer, man. Oh, and a producer. Yeah. And a producer. Some real Dr. Dre shit. Yeah, yeah. I made my whole album. Produced produce my whole album, except for one beat. My nigga Juice, Juicy Beast from Buffalo, New York. Talented producer from New York. He on some really West Side shit. You feel me? So me and him linked up, like, 2011. You know what I'm saying? He's been working ever since, and... You know what I'm saying? So I produced my whole, my whole shit, and he just produced one, one uh, record off there, off my tape that came out. Like I was listening to your music. You, yeah. you dropped about four tracks on SoundCloud. Why only four? Yeah, but honestly, man, I don't want to give too much to somebody because in our dead generation, niggas can't, can't pay attention. You know what I'm saying? Like, you even nigga 15 tracks, they're going to be like, okay. You know what I'm saying? About seven, they never really listened to. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? They're half as into your project, you feel me? If you give a nigga, like, five, like, mm-hmm. max five, five, six, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? They can have, like, three or four favorite, favorite records. You know what I'm saying? You don't give a nigga too much. You know what I'm saying? Because a nigga's attention span is not not long. Mm-hmm. That's a fact. Yeah. Especially somebody like me. Attention span is definitely not there. See? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm Yo, uh, yeah. uh, a lot of talent yeah. comes from Compton. What, yeah. what makes you unique, though? Me? Shit. That's a good ass question, dog. Um, yeah, that's what I do here, bro. Like yeah. I'm going to sit and pick yeah. your brain, bro. My I man does look. ask very good questions. I can vouch. I fuck with him off the dribble, but it's like this. With me, it's the authentic shit. You know what I'm saying? Like game, Tupac, like that authentic, real nigga shit. Like tight. Like I motherfucking like pull up to the motherfucking corner store, bro. Like motherfucking album out, nigga going platinum like this, that. Authentic shit, like just real, cause niggas is fabricated, bro. They get the money, get the changing, and niggas ain't real no more. Can't pull up to the hood no more. Like you feel me? I just want to bring that real nigga shit back. You know what I'm saying? You're like a Nate. Uh, it was a Nate Dog intro. Nate Dog intro. Like you, that's one of your influences. I'm assuming. Yeah, well, just in general, my influences, man. Of course, Tupac. You know what I'm saying? Like uh-huh. coming out, Tupac. Just the whole Death Row era, man. Because that was just like the last authentic West Coast music we had. That. Gravitated, you know what I'm saying, to East Coast. Like, it was a death row East when it happened. So it's like, that was like the last authentic shit we had as far as like West Coast music, you know what I'm saying? No offense to the labels and now TDE, all love, but it's like death row open, kick down the door for that real. It was very aggressive. Who, me? Um, The death row situation. Oh, man. It was definitely aggressive. Very, very, very aggressive. Very aggressive, man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that's the one part I don't agree about. Mm-hmm. You know, the, the aggressive shit, but as far as it, 
Death Row was an independent label, which you guys didn't know. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Of course, they was funded by Interscope later on, but Death Row was independent, making boss moves. You know what I'm saying? But as far as the Grammy shit, bro, I don't, I don't agree to it. Gotcha. Yeah. Man, talk to me. Um, recently, we got a rapper from from New York, Takashi 69. Yeah. A little L.A. beef, maybe. You know, you mentioned Death Row. He's running around screaming, I'm the new Death Row. Yeah. How do they feel about that over there? More importantly, how do you feel about that? Keep great two questions. Those Man, are honestly, I don't care. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, I respect 6 ix 9 he's, he's a brand. He's doing what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to just say this. If you rapping something that my homies died for, respect it. It's like me coming to the Lower East Side and sl- 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 they slang y'all, y'all, y'all swag and shit. And when y'all come approach me, it's like, fuck y'all. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you feel me? Respect your shit. But it's like, at the end of the day, bro, respect. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You want to be game banging and blood and this and blood that. But it's like, you don't even do a song with niggas. You want to pop up, you know what I'm saying, to shit. But it's all respect. Funk, you doing your thing and be safe. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Yeah, just all about respect. Why do you think there's so much talent that comes out of Compton, specifically? Honestly, because it's the shit we go through. Keep it on it, bro. Like... Just hell. You know what I'm saying? Pulling straps out, like, you feel me? Like, I've been a gunpoint, bro. You know what I'm saying? All that getting chased and shit, bro. So it's like, the struggle, bro. The struggle. You can hear any niggas' music, bro. The struggle. You know what I'm saying? And y'all can relate to it, no matter where you from. It's just like the struggle we got out there, bro. It, it gravitates to everybody. You know what I'm saying? So you rapping off, like, your personal life experiences yeah. or your cousin's experiences. That, yeah, the like, shit that I saw, the shit that I know. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, you got to give them you. You feel me? I can't tell you I got 100 bands, I'm in the strip club with bad bitch. No, I'm not. You're not going to do that. You're not one of them rappers. No, nah, I'm just some real shit. Give you off the curve, bro. Is it is it safe to say that yeah. in your songs there's a, there's a message? Yes, sir. There's a message in all your trash. You're not it's bullshitting it's nothing. It's a message. I could be talking about a bitch like that ass, but it's still a message in there for you to relate to something. You know what I'm saying? Got you. Yeah. I mean, I don't really respect certain rappers that, you know, yeah. talk about shit that they don't really live. I don't really... If I was a rapper, it would have been hard for me to say that, like, I'm driving the Bentley and I'm driving the Nissan. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Like, that shit just... That shit's kind of tough for me. How you feel about that, man? I feel like a lot of them do that. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I feel like once you get in the rap game, you feel like you got to act. You got to... Like a certain way. Sometimes, yeah. Well, especially when you start to pop. You feel me? Like, it's more like I got to talk that, that fly shit. Mm-hmm. And I don't, I don't really like it. I feel like you should just be yourself. And that's mm-hmm. just I agree. my opinion. You feel me? I agree, my nigga. As far as, like, your your, your preparations for writing your, your verses and whatnot, mm-hmm. like, how does that... How does that work out for you? Shit. I'm really pretty much independent self-made, so what I do is, dog, I make the beat first. Make the beat. Make the beat, find a sample, because I'm a sample head. So I heard that in your um your four your four tracks on yeah. SoundCloud. So um find a sample, bro, make the beat. As I make the beat, bro, I find a melody and shit. You feel me? You just get to it. You know what I'm saying? I just write, write to it, man. So like you you by yourself, you with the homies, you with your family. Yeah, well, no, like, with the homies. Sometimes I'll be by myself, so I'll be with the homies. You know what I'm saying? It depends. You feel me? But that with that uh E P, um, I did that shit with the homies, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? We pull up, you know. Well, the verses we already done, but like far as recording and the whole energy, the homies be in there gas and pulling up. Yo, nigga, do this, this, and that. I need this energy. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that for the whole project. 